delighted to stand before you today to bring, to bring greetings from the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers and celebrate this awesome occasion with you. Our commander is Colonel Timothy Ross Vale. Yes, our very first Juneteenth National Holiday via the Juneteenth National Independence Day Act right here in Galveston, Texas, at Ashton Villa, where on June 19, 1865, the Union soldiers, led by Major General Gordon Granger, delivered the good news that the Civil War had ended and the enslaved were now free. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. Even though two and a half years earlier, our 16th president, Abraham Lincoln, had itch, issued the Emancipation Proclamation on September the 22nd, 1862, with an effective date of January the 1st, 1863. I can only imagine how my ancestors must have celebrated as they continued to help pave the way to create the rich and diverse culture that comprises our state and nation. I am blessed to be employed at the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. The Corps of Engineers is a worldwide organization with nine divisions, 44 districts, nine centers and labs, with 33,000 civilians and 700 military personnel, and over 241 years of service to our nation. In essence, the core has been in existence since the founding of our country. We are committed to providing vital public engineering services in peace and war to strengthen our nation's security, energize the economy, and reduce risk from disaster. The core has been in Texas since Texas became a state. Galveston District was founded in 1880 and has been operating continuously for over 141 years. We have five main missions, ecosystem restoration, emergency management, flood risk management, navigation, and regulatory. As the Galveston District Equal Employment Opportunity Manager, I have had the awesome opportunity to celebrate and commemorate this historical Juneteenth celebration with you since 1995. Galveston District is a very diverse and inclusive organization that prohibits discrimination based on race, color, religion, sex, national origin, age, physical or mental disability, genetic information, sexual orientation, or gender identity. The U.S. government and the Department of the Defense strive to provide an inclusive environment for people of all ethnicities, race, and gender. <coughs> Today marks 20 years since I founded the Burrow Family Reunion and would like to welcome each of you here today, along with my friends, but especially my son, Patrick. I love you, Patrick. <laughs> my family has always celebrated Juneteenth because of our freedom. My great-great-grandfather was born a slave. I am the fifth known generation born after the Emancipation Proclamation, and the fourth generation to be born free. That doesn't seem like a long time, but four generations following slavery, I stand before you with two doctorate degrees. Woo. Growing up in Texas, I thought everybody knew about Juneteenth until I traveled across the United States and Germany with my husband, who was in the military, to learn that some people had never heard about Juneteenth. Today, the Army continues to serve the United States with extraordinary soldiers and civilians who display exceptional character in defense of our nation. 
We at the Galveston District U.S. Army Corps of Engineers are part of that Army tradition and will continue to provide to both the state of Texas and the nation. In closing, I pause to recognize the vital legacy Juneteenth and celebrate black African American freedom and achievements while encouraging continuous self-development and respect for all cultures. Thank you for inviting me to participate in this most historic Juneteenth celebration and the hospitality that you have shown to me and the Galveston District Corps of Engineers. Again, thank you, and it has been my pleasure to serve you on this momentous occasion. Essayance and happy Juneteenth.